Okay, so what I have right here is just a flat layer of sand, and this kind of represents maybe a desert. But when you go out to a desert, you're going to see sands that kind of look like hills, and we call those sand dunes. So in order to create sand dunes on top of my flat layer of sand, I'm just going to take my bag of sand, and I'm going to pile up even more sand, kind of in a line like this. And you can see from that side view that it looks like a hill almost. It's not tall, tall like a mountain, but you can see there's a peak. Now I'm going to add some small little rocks that I have here in the science lab. And I know when you go to a desert, you might not always see rocks, and that's okay, but this is just for the demonstration. I'm going to put some rocks out away from my sand dune, because you'll see later why that matters. And I'm going to stick some rocks maybe inside my little sand hill. Okay. I don't want to mess with my hill when I'm creating my landscape right here. I want to leave it kind of as is without messing it up. So here's the side view. Okay. One more thing I want to add is just a layer of colored sand. And I want to put it on this and this side and this side of my sand dune. Now when we go out to the desert and we take a look at those sand dunes, we're not going to see purple colored sand or blue colored sand. I get that. But this is just a visual for you to see what our landscape looks like as is at the very beginning and then what it's going to look like at the very end once we've incorporated wind. And what do these sand particles look like as the wind comes and it picks up, moves, and then lays down all those sand particles. So one thing I want to talk about for this activity is goggles. You need to protect your eyes. So goggles need to be worn at all times when you're blowing into um, your landscape. Another thing is we're going to be using a straw. Of course, you can do this activity maybe with a fan or a blow dryer, but that is very intense wind. Um, so right now we have controlled wind with our straw. And then you need to be aware of how soft or how hard you're blowing the wind or your air through your straw. If you practice on the back of your hands, you can practice a soft blow. You can barely feel it. A medium wind, it's a little stronger but, and not too intense, or a hard wind. You can feel it, you can hear it, and that's going to be too intense for this activity. So I'm going to do more of a soft to medium wind through my straw. And also, I need to be aware of how I hold my straw. Do I hold it straight up to where it's perpendicular with my blue tray, like that 90 degree angle? Do I hold it like this to where it's parallel with my blue tray? Or do I hold it more at an angle, maybe a 30 degree angle, a 45 degree angle? So I'm going to shoot for an angle like this. I don't want my winds coming from straight up from the ceiling because what's going to happen with that sand? It's going to go, the wind is going to go down, it's going to hit it, whoops, and then um, it's going to blow right back in my face and I don't want that. And if I am holding my straw parallel, the wind might not do exactly what I want it to do with this activity. So if I hold it at an angle, 
like this as I'm blowing, we're going to see what it looks like. So here we go. Goggles on, safety first, protect your eyes, and then hold it at an angle, and here we go. I'm going to move it this way, and I'm going to get you a little bit closer so that you can see. And I'm going to zoom it in so y'all can see a little bit better as well. Okay. Okay, I think that is pretty good. Now, if you look closely, you'll see one side of my original sand dune still has the yellow colored sand, but the other side does not. That means that yellow sand has now been displaced. It has a new location because of the wind um, forcing those changes to our landscape. You can also see there's a bit of a divot right here. Um, and then almost like a new sand dune is being created right here with all that buildup of that sand um, being blown into a new pile, into a new location with our landscape. Also, you'll notice that some of our rocks that were kind of buried into our original sand dune are now exposed, and there's nothing covering them. However, my rock over here, you, you can barely see it because now that sand is covering it. And my rock right here, you can barely see it because there's now new sand um, that has been eroded and deposited and um, is now covering it. So that is this activity and it's super fun. Just be aware of how um, hard you're blowing the sand and at what angle you're blowing the sand and remember to remain safe by keeping your goggles on for this activity.